Welcome to the Human Nature Channel. I'm your host, Alex Tamsula, also known as Daddy Baby on Twitter. And what am I doing here with a guitar that doesn't sound all that good? Let's try an E. Uh, let's try a D chord. Uh, well, it's Tuesday night once again here in my dad's musical emporium farm garage. Here at the Human Nature Channel, we have done videos about the musical instruments my dad hangs from the crossbar of the ceiling as ornamentation. Uh, what has he got up there? He's got a trumpet hanging down. He's got recorders hanging down. There's a banjo. There's, uh, there's a Japanese guitar up there. Uh, it looks like a little hat box on its side with a stick out of it and one string. Where he got that, I don't know. There's a Ron Propeal pocket fisherman up there. Don't ask me why. There is a guitar hanging down up there. Uh, and what Dad did was he plugged the sound hole on this acoustic guitar so birds wouldn't build a nest in it. The most interesting item up there is an antique washboard. And it's got to be from like 1910. It's this solid hunk of glass with ripples in it, a very strong wooden frame around it. You could wash your clothes in a tub with this thing. And technically, I guess it is a musical instrument if you're into like Cajun, but I wouldn't recommend it. Um, it is sturdy, but I remember the night I brought it down to do a show and tell in one of my videos. And getting it back up while standing on a stepladder, I sweated some bullets making sure that it was secure and, and there. And people who have been following the Human Nature Channel videos from the very beginning will know that on a shelf above my head is an actual still. Anyway, getting back to this piece of driftwood, the problem isn't that it's out of tune. In fact, I spent half the evening trying to get this thing in tune. I even got a, I got a pitch pipe. Jamming me. Yeah, uh, when I was trying to figure out uh, Jamming Me by Tom Petty and Heartbreakers, when I realized that a E E, which is the first three notes, which is the riff of the song, the the first uh, eight bars. Jam in me is A E E. Then I was able to sing the song in tune. But anyway, getting back to this thing, um, I can do a relative tune like. So the guitar is in tune, but it just sounds like... Anyway, I got up here at about uh, 5.30 in the afternoon, and when I got into the garage and said hi to Dad, I stowed away my stuff, and I made cups of coffee for the both of us. So we're sitting up at the front, the garage doors are open, we're bullshitting, and all of a sudden it's like, hey Dad! Uh, excuse me for a minute, but there's something I forgot to do. He's like, what's that? He's like, I said, look for a guitar. And actually, I'm thinking there might be a guitar down at the house. Now, you got to understand that my brother is a professional musician, makes a living at it. Uh, he plays fiddle. He plays fiddle for old time. And it's been a long time since... Uh, He's played any guitar, uh, although I'm sure he still could. But I remember back in the 70s when we were both in college, and I saw him picking up the guitar. 
Oh, that sounds so bad. Anyway, he was really good. He picked up the guitar really, really fast. So there were always guitars around. And I remember this one. I remember this one guitar. A Yamaha. I wonder if it was still down there. So I said, yeah, I'm going to go down and look. And he's like, okay. So I go down the house, and I look. And I look under the beds, right? Because uh, that's where guitars usually are stashed in our house. And I didn't find any. And I looked under the slate pool table in the basement because occasionally instruments have ended up down there. But now, now, couldn't find it. So I went back down in the garage. I'm like, Dad, I couldn't find it. He's like, hmm. He's like, well, why'd you want it? And I said, like, Dad, I really wanted to start playing guitar. I really started feeling motivated. And I told him kind of what happened was last Friday, I was getting ready to do a song. I was going to do uh, Tom Petty and Heartbreakers. You're jamming me. And this is how I, I set it up. I have it on two pieces of typing paper. There will be the lyrics and the chords. I get them online. I just, uh, I just do a copy. And, um, and I have it on a board behind the camera. So yeah, I, as soon as I was thinking about this song, I'm like, boy, I'd really love to do this on my electric guitar. Yes, I have an electric guitar. Actually, down in the apartment, I have two guitars. Uh, the second one belongs to my brother. I borrowed it. He's never asked for it back. Uh, it's a 12-string guitar. Actually, it's an 11-string guitar before I replace one of them, but I have that. The other thing I have is, it's called a West Tone electric guitar. And I bought this thing back in, God, it's got to be like 1992. Okay, back then I was doing computer-aided drafting. I was working at this engineering firm, and I was making a shit ton of overtime. So I had a pile of disposable cash at this one period, and I'm like, oh man, I really like to have a guitar. So I went to a guitar store, a guitar store that was actually close by. It was in Swissville. It was called uh, Swissville Music. It has, it was closed like four or five years ago, which is a shame. But back then, what a nice place. Uh, you could go there and buy guitars. You could buy their music books, you know, um, you know books of, uh, uh, you know, uh, tabs of uh, famous rock bands and stuff like that. You know, I mean, that stuff was all available. So uh, I bought this West Tone guitar for 700 bucks, and I bought the amp for another 300 bucks, right? And I'm like, wow, but that's not all. Oh, I also bought a guitar tool, or as I like to call it, my guitar tool. Oh, this thing is so nifty and so versatile. I've used it on other things besides working on my guitar, but you know, there's a screwdriver and what else we got? Oh, yeah, we got um, got a Phillips head screwdriver. We got a small screwdriver. But what what really is the big deal is the uh, little Allen wrenches. We got all these Allen wrenches, different sizes. Oh, I love this thing. Um, on an acoustic guitar, the bridge is fixed. But on an electric guitar like the one I have, there are these nut adjustments on every individual string on the bridge, and that's where this thing comes in. And it's like, oh, my guitar tool. And, and, you know, I'm telling you about my West Tone guitar, which had been sitting in a closet for like 10 years. When I finally got it out, I'm like going, where's my guitar tool? I got to have my guitar tool. And here's the best thing about it, right? Okay. Yeah. What you have is, you've got this metal, thick metal ring, which I guess you'd call it forged. There's a handle coming out. It's beside a smaller metal ring, but there's a notch 
in both of them and when you line it up you can put your guitar string through there and cut it it's like yes my guitar tool so yes um for the longest time i've had this west tone guitar sitting in my closet uh i would pull it out occasionally learn how to play amazing grace and then say well now i know how to play guitar and i would put it back and so the idea was that if there were a guitar up here i can practice on it right and i can leave my west tone back at the apartment and i'm thinking oh that would be ideal because you know i got like this thing, this, this guitar course, Guitar Essentials, that I bought at Barnes & Noble in 2006, and I paid $12.95 for it, and it's like, now I'm motivated to get my money's worth. Oh, it's got a course book, and it has, it's got a DVD, very nice, and it also has two CDs. So the idea is that, uh, 20 minutes a day, oh, if I could, I would practice up here. I could bring that, and I could leave my West Tone at home. So here's what ended up happening. I went back down to the house, and I looked around a little more thoroughly, and, we, you know, around a chest of drawers, there was a guitar case, and it was just just short enough that you, know, you almost had to look and know it was there. And I'm like, yeah, there's a guitar. I got a guitar up here. Uh -huh. And and I, I took it down to the garage. You know, this is afterwards, right? You know, after that, I went back, and I bring it down here. And then I started trying to tune this piece of shit, and it's like... Ah, gee, da, ba, da, ba, da, dee, da, boo, dee, gee. Oh, oh. Okay. Now, my West Tone guitar is really, really neat. Uh, it has four pickups, and it has this switch where you can go from one to the other. And the very lowest pickup, it's what I call the Link Ray pickup. Okay, I mean, this is one for the oldsters, but Link Ray was this electric guitarist, middle to late 60s, and if you've ever seen Pulp Fiction, you've heard his tune, Rumble. Blum, blum, blum. Blum, blum, blum. Blum, blum, blum. Womp, womp, womp. It's like, yeah! Oh, I, I want to do that so bad. And all I have is this crappy guitar. And really, I looked it up online, and I do believe it's E-E-D. Oh, no! Wait a minute. E-E-D. Maybe I got it wrong. e e Oh, make it stop. Anyway. Yes, yeah, so that's the, uh, the guitar adventure. And the whole idea is from now on, whenever I do a song, I want to be backing myself up on guitar. You know, so I'm going to be practicing and trying to get good at it. Here's what's funny. When you start getting into guitar, you find out how weak, how weak, your uh, little pinky finger is like, give me one more for the core. I, I, uh, you couldn't even give me one more for the core? Get out of here, pile. Whew. See you back at my place. I want my money.